I am going to go with... Um, I, I went with Goro. Mm -hmm. um, mainly because I love Goro. And also, he does help with my game plan a lot. And we'll right. go through that in a little bit. And you like a team of bigs. I do. Mm -hmm. uh, so just real quick, Garrus has a couple, uh, Goro has a couple moves. He has uh, Punch in the Air, right? So you can do that. Punch, to, yep. You can do that to uh, sort of elongate combos sometimes. Things like yes. that. Um, he also has a Stomp. You which, can't have Goro without Stomp. Now listen, right. Stomp is different. Oh. Stomp takes your entire bar. Oh, it does. Yeah, it is full. See? So I know people will be like, Stomp, you have to commit to mm -hmm. it. Um, and then finally, he has a thing called the Omelet Toss, which is... Uh, I did the, I did the wrong uh, th button. No, that, that's Punch Walk. Punch Walk again. That's Punch Walk. He has Omelet Toss, where he will throw you up in the air. Omelet Toss. Omelet Toss. And he will... So that's that That can be grabbed, like, like if you're ducking, for instance, uh, that can be... Uh, it can be used to... Oops, omelet Toss? Don't do that. <laughs> Um, so th that's what I use. Now, let's, I want to go through some of the strings, and this will all kind of make sense a little bit how he works. Uh, my Probably my favorite string he has is forward 4-4, four, four, which is just hits the ground, pops you up. It's a low. Do you make a little sand castle there? He, what he makes a little there? sand at the end, boom, okay. knocks you up. So for this, then you can start doing your air stuff. Now let's go over the air stuff real quick. He has four unique grabs he can do in the air based off his air combos. Uh, so he has this. Where he'll give you the old pile driver. Yep. Nice. Yep. Which you are a fan of. I am. And you can see that. Uh, Choke slam. Switch sides of the opponent. Yes. On the, on you can that. choose what side to switch. And then you can do this with different inputs. Ooh, I did that wrong. Sorry. And when you say with different inputs, what do you. What different do you... punches in the air. Oh, okay. Gotcha. You lead gotcha. to different things. So one is one, two. One, the other is two, one. Gotcha. Gotcha. And then he's got this one where he'll just. Oh, I did that wrong. It's really neat to see the air combat extend to grappling. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. Like it, it'll knee you away. I mean, yeah. Air combat, just a huge fan. I just it's love. So I'm fun. Yeah. so in love with it. Yeah. Uh, he also has this uh, overhead, which is uh, so it's not. But it's not safe entirely. But it's you can throw this out there quite a bit because you get a big amount of pushback and right. you're back at the back. Mm -hmm. um, he's got back one too, which is neat because this is just this is that range. Where you like you don't want to be here, get a little closer, right? Mm -hmm. And that can be canceled too, so you can do like things like that. No, oh, you nice. brought a buddy out. I did. Uh, let's do the throws real quick before I forget, because I know people get mad if we forget the throws, and I understand that. <laughs> they are very cool. Goro comes in, and Goro kind of got a glow up too for he anybody did that didn't bit, notice, yes. right? From the earlier like first views of Goro, oh, he's gotten a glow up. Oh, forget. I don't want to forget this too, because I know people want to see that he does indeed have body splash. And if a character has a body splash, that's instant means Tyler's gonna play them. Yes. Yeah. Uh, this is one of the cooler moves too. He's got, uh, I think we've all, we've all seen the wall he can do. He's got a little belly bump, a little belly bump. And you'll throw him through the wall. And here's the other thing, you can kind of throw this out, like from distance. Let me let me get a little far away from you. You can kind of, even like, all, it's not a projectile, but it can be kind of feel like mm -hmm. one in a way. Right. Um, and the beginning reminds me of how people block in No Mercy for N64. It really does. So that's important. There it is, there right. it is, yep. Uh, I'm going to go over some specials now. Mm -hmm. uh, so this is the one that changes his game. Okay. It's called Countdown, uh, and he'll just, he'll put a uh, hourglass out, okay. right? If, and this is what I was talking about, he wants to keep you out. Like, I want to, got it, now I have three loaded. Once he has three loaded, he can do it again, Go nope. behind you, and now you are frozen, and the last move you take is the reaction you have. Like the like the frozen thing from mm -hmm. the last game. Right. Um, if you meter burn it, you have three already. Now throw a projectile. I wasn't ready yet. <laughs> Try again. So if you're, re I gotta read it harder. <coughs> Go ahead. So if you do that, you can. If you're hard reading things like that, you can get behind him and whatnot. Sure. So once you have that out, the game changes. Right. They are afraid of moving. Now it's blockable. It is blockable. But they, the game How are you going to block that? <laughs> I play enough people when they're starting to read it. Okay, all right, all right, I got it. Here's you. another thing. Go ahead and do some do some damage to me. Okay. Now, we have it set to 1% right now, but when you do that, the other thing you can do is if you meter burn the snap like that, you get you can re, re, redo what you've done, go back to where you were. Rewind time. Rewind time and get your health back. What? Nice. And so, that uses the same clocks that you would charge for the yes. So behind you. You can charge the clock, mm -hmm. and once that clock is fully charged three times or yes. whatever, then you have multiple moves that branch from that. Yes. Wow. Now, 
this it it, it, it there's gets, another layer. It gets better. Oh my goodness! I didn't show you one of the uh, different strings on purpose. Oh, okay. So you can do this. This string, as you see, brings out an hourglass. Mm -hmm. And guess what? That counts. That counts. It does. Oh, let's move. That's on. cool. Let's move on to another move. Okay. Sandstorm. Mm -hmm. Right. Now, is there different distances for sandstorm, or is uh, it track? Uh, yes, there are different distances. Gotcha. Um, it also can be a meterless launcher. Oh, right. So you can be like this and catch them, but mm -hmm. I can do that. Meterless launcher. Now, where they're where they're standing in the sandstorm depends on where they like. If they're at the back of it, they'll fly backwards. Got gotcha. the front of it. They're front. That's forwards. science. Now, if I meter burn it, you got to set. See that uh, mm -hmm. another clock? Nice. It'll time out and then then explodes. So you're kind of controlling space. Right. Quiet. But. That also adds to your clock. Interesting. So I and I don't, that's going to force them to either advance or back up. Back up is good for you. Advancing, you know, right. then you can go for your mix-ups. So um, super cool stuff you can do with that. Um, I really enjoy just hitting it, and then you can, you know, that's coming for later. Oh, so it it just it could change the way the game's played. Yeah, uh, he plays his own game. What I just showed was world stop, just back forward one. Mm -hmm. You can just stop time, and I can do this. Now I can go on. I can go on either side too, where I can hold back uh. and land there. If you meter burn it, it just turns into another time stop. Oh man, he seems pretty nasty. He is nasty. Yeah. He seems pretty nasty. The effects are amazing looking too. He uh, definitely. He does have a command grab, which you can throw <laughs> away. Or you can throw a tour. Oops, sorry. Like that. Mm -hmm. Now here's the fun part. Let's say you're in the corner. Let's say you're in. Now I want, I would love Liu Kang to be in the corner. Right. So I can do that, right? Yep, there he goes. Or if I want to do more damage, any time you throw someone away from the corner, you get the wall. Oh, cool. Oh, that's nasty. So if I'm throwing my, like, so you can give up good spacing if you want to cash out that extra damage. Damage or positioning. Like, yeah. is, this gonna, is this gonna end the round? Right. If I do that, throw them out. Yeah, totally. Um, at least I would. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, that command grab's really great. It can also, like, you can, it will, uh, it'll combo too. Like, if it's in the air, you can't, like, combo on the ground, but if it's in the air, you can catch people. The range on it is also very interesting. Yeah, so you can do it from close, but also, like, right about here. So. Yeah, that's really, really you good. You always, and, and also just point blank. Right. So he's pretty much good up, up close, mid, and far. Uh, far, I, I, he has a little more trouble far. Sure. Far, he's gonna be able to set up his stuff. I was gonna say, then you're just press advantage. You're putting up right. clocks. But if you're also, far. you can start getting hit with projectiles during that period. Right. right. And also, like, you will notice the more you play against the Garrus, the snap thing. It, I've been blocked on it a whole bunch of times, so people know that you're, you're trying sure. to set that up. But um, now, obviously, then if they have the mental stack where they are then focused on blocking it or punishing mm -hmm. it or doing fireballs, that means that's your opportunity. You've established that, you condition them. Now he could advance forward and go for his overhead, his low, his grab. Right. If you're doing something that makes the opponent pause, that's you, then you've won. And is it more I mean, dangerous sometimes to hold it for a full round? Exactly, yes. Right? Uh, and also, they may forget they're looking for the snap, and now they do a combo to you, and you just rewind out of it. You yes, use it for that. That's a great point. So, um, next thing we got, uh, this is just, this is a, oops, that, there was again, sir. Uh, he's got this burst, right? Uh, denial here. And it, it's just, a, you know, just kind of a pushback. You can, you can combo it. Me. Right. Nope. But, I uh, would say that's not the only time you can do it. <laughs> uh, it. But the cool thing is, it is his metered, uh, it, it, it does a, a his armor. Arm and move, yeah, sorry. Oh, okay. So let's say I'm in the corner, and I want to wake up to it. I can oh, not be there. We go. Gotcha. Get yeah. off of me. And get it's off really me. good if like I get jumped on on the like in the uh, so if, like yeah, it's just right. your get off me tool. Yes, for sure. So he does have that uh, one fine. I mean, I know Garris, It seems like he has a lot. I will say once you start playing it, it all sort of flows together very very well. Right. Um, once you start getting the game plan down, he has this move here, which is really cool. So go to go full screen for me. I can do this, and now look, I am ethereal. Now hit uh -huh. me. If you hit me, I can take a, oh, I can take a hit, right? So hold on. And then I will go back to where I started. You can do that with projectiles. Oh, right? really? But now I can do like things like this, where I will walk you down. I know I have a 
uh, I know I have a hit I can take, or I can walk you down, and you're like, what's he doing, what's he doing? And I can still do moves. That's so cool. Now, here's where it gets crazy. Uh, this has been pretty crazy already. <laughs> like, that. I don't know what the next level of crazy yeah, could you, be. Yeah, we've never done one of these. You're like, but wait, there's more. There is one more thing, which I've actually had QA make a video for, because I am not good at, the, good at doing it yet, but it's really cool. So let's, the meter burn version will freeze time, and you're able to use your clone and yourself. You'll see. Let's, let's take a look at that video. Whew. That's so cool. Right. It's really giving me some Kenshi vibes. 